against Ray Culp. Three runs, six hits, and one error for Oakland. Well, let's see. That's going to be seven. Yep. A base hit in front of Yastrzemski in left center. Carl had no shot at it. And Epstein is on with nobody out in the sixth inning. Back in Oakland. And uh, Blue Moon Odom, a pitcher, is going to run, I guess, for Mike Epstein after Epstein leads with a single here in the sixth. There's Odom running for Epstein. The youngster up in the upper deck, or not the complete upper deck, Ned, but the youngster with a glove just reached up and caught that ball as nice as you please. Good for him. He picked it, huh? The bunt. Help to Scott. Odom to third. Bando is out on the bunt. And they've got road and one left. After six innings of play, Oakland three. Red time. You can send your contributions to the Jimmy Fund Boston Mass 02117. Fly ball deep to left. Yastrzemski back. And Jackson has another home run. <laughs> Reggie Jackson is going the other way today, and he has hit two home runs and a double. All to left or left center. So he's been a big man for this ball core and Boston won. Thank you John Scott has struck out swinging and has reached on an error by Reggie Jackson in right field. A ball get loose down in the Red Sox bullpen slight delay and now catfish hunter ready to work. Bando is calling and Sal makes the catch for the out. Scott pops up. Mike Hegan is now at first base as Epstein left the ball game for the pinch runner. Jackson and Mangual converging and it's Reggie Jackson to make the catch. Canegliaro flies out two down in the Boston seven. Nothing and two. So if Montgomery can keep it going Fiore will be batting for Culp. Keegan going after this one and he makes a spectacular catch of the ball. Mike Hegan makes a great play. And that's all for the Red Sox in the seventh inning on the play of the day. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on. At the middle of the seventh inning, Oakland has a three to one lead. Strike three. Mike Fiore strikes out. Hustler. He's always making himself available for a possibility of a play. This is just good baseball instinct. He's been that way most of his uh, baseball life, I believe. Even when he was washing as a youngster, as a shortstop, he made himself available a lot of places. This is good. Pop fly. Mangual coming on, and it's uh, Mangual. He had trouble, so they all had trouble. Good young ball player. Louis Aparicio is up now. He is five to center, line to center, and popped to second. Strike one. Aparicio lines one into center field for a base hit. Juggled momentarily, but not enough for any advance to be made. And so Louis 
as a single into center field. Now Ken Brett has uh, gone back and sat down and Bill Lee has started to warm up or will be momentarily with uh, Louis Tion Hunter on the mound and we're getting some action in the Oakland bullpen now as we look at Darrell Knowles the left hander and Jim Grant the right hander. him out and at the middle of eight Oakland leads 3 1. Drive to center field Mangual going back makes the catch. Reggie Smith flies to center truck out again. Mike Hegan makes the grab for the second out. Two down in the ninth inning and George Scott coming up. One strike on Scott. Ground ball to Sal Bando. He throws to Hegan, and the ball game is over. And Oakland takes the second game of the series here by a score of 4-1. And we'll be back with the recap on today's game in just a moment. <laughs> 